The, the, the Breakfast Wave. Weekdays, 7 to 10 a.m. Touch HD. We're back those days, still underway right here on The Breakfast Wave. Of course, playing in the background is some Dennis Ferreira with Touch of the Sky. It is exactly 38 minutes after 8, and you're still uh, with The Breakfast Wave team. It is a throwback Thursday, and we're hosting someone really, 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 really special. Marishan. Hi. How are, How are you? you guys doing? We're good. How are you? I'm good. I'm loving the energy up in here. Uh, we're chilling. <laughs> we're trapped. We're trapped. We're, we're giving me blueberries and some grapefruit. <laughs> we're literally we're literally just chilling in the kitchen. Nothing in sick. Yeah, this is our day job, you know? Too dope. Too dope. Too dope. Just no. having a camera. Gotta love what we do, right? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to the breakfast wave. Thank you for having um, me. Sorry to wake you up so early in the no. morning. No. But I'm like, you're in your I'm, I'm a morning, yeah, morning person, morning girl. Person. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, Marishan, uh, just to... For those who don't know, Ew. just to kick it off Mm-mm-mm. and so we can leave it behind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For those who know Marishan, mm, hint, hint. Uh, nice, definitely nice. know you from, of course, your first group that <laughs> yeah, you yeah, had yeah, with, your, with, with your girls, Jamali. Uh, I will say that was a very long time ago. 2004 was... <laughs> wow. Was the, uh, I was saying to them... How we, old were you guys, by the way? I was in grade 5. You, 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 you. <laughs> the, the, the Breakfast Wave. Wave. Jamali showed me the world, you know. Yeah. We went from Ghana to the UK to all over, and I feel like I got a lot of perspective from the group. I learned about, you know, teamwork and womanhood and all of that. Mm. Yeah. And um, so when I went solo, it the transition was very interesting, you know. Okay. Because um, when you're in a group, you are packaged for a group. Yeah. No one really knows who the individual is. Yes, mm. yes, yes. And, and also, you struggle to find, like, what is your sound? What is your identity? Mm. Um, so I had to go on a bit of a self-discovery journey, you know, um, for the past couple of years. Is that which is why I only released my project now because I was literally just collaborating and working with people so that I could, you know, find out who is Marish and what is my narrative, what is my sound. Is that why the <laughs> the first single that you launched is called "Let Me Live My Life"? Is it? Is it well, that was to, like, kind of like a, away that from, was a breakaway yeah. just to, and that was and that was actually inspired by you know what I experienced in the industry, mm, you know, because mm. you know it's very male dominated. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I did get a, uh, approached by labels after I went solo, mm. um, but they wanted me to all change who I was. Mm. Some were saying, oh, you need to be more like this artist and you need to be more like that artist. And I'm mm. like, well, I was in a group for so long. Now that I have an opportunity be to myself. be Mauritian, why can't I just be me? Yeah. You know, so that's song I wrote within one hour. And it was re- really just to reintroduce myself and tell people I'm solo now and this is it. Just let me live my life. <laughs> tell us behind the, uh, your EP, uh, Cherry Blossom, the name behind that must be a deeper meaning to just the Cherry Blossom. Mm-mm-mm. So what, what was your thought process behind that? Sure, it's such a long story, but you know, I'm going to try and make it short. Samarinya. <laughs> <laughs> so, so people don't believe me, but growing up, I never felt beautiful. You know, um, in school, kids made fun of me a lot. I was like the odd kid, the weird kid, never had friends, very introverted, chill by myself in intervals and all of that. Um, so they used to pick on me and they called me the ugly duckling. You know, I didn't have straight hair, my hair was all yeah, nappy and I was, games. yeah. So they would call me the ugly duckling and I hated it. I grew up with my grandmother and I remember not wanting to go back to school, like, mm. like trying to figure out any lie I could find. And I was only like, what, eight, nine years old, mm. trying to like lie to my grandmother so that I don't have to go to school and to face those kids. And um, she had a cherry blossom tree in the backyard, you know, that was outside her yeah. bedroom window. And it was, I remember it was springtime, she was hanging the washing and it was, you know, just a lovely day. And I went outside and I thought to myself, let me go climb the tree. It looks so beautiful and it was blooming. Mm. So I climbed the tree and I said to her, you know what, Gran? I wish I was as pretty as, you know, the flowers in, the, in this tree. Aww. And she turned and she said, but my darling, you are as pretty as the flowers in my tree. And one day when you're old enough, you will blossom, you know, just like my just favorite like cherry, cherry blossom, blossom tree. Wow. So for me, you know, that was a, you know, very deep moment. And mm. I, I, and even in the midst of like, putting my, my, my EP together, I was struggling to find titles. And mm. just in the middle of the night, I woke up, you know, I don't know if it was her waking me up, but I woke up and I had the flower in my head. And I remember what she said, how, you know, about blossoming. And I mm. thought to myself, wow, that is what my life represents. You know, it, it's bl- cherry blossom is for me, it's like, it, it represents my battles and mm. everything that I've gone through, and that no matter how tough things get, at some point we all blossom. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna play a little game. We're, we're gonna play a little game with you. Okay. Abraham, cut it. <laughs> I, I know it. Okay. Marriage Blige. It is. Huh? Name of the Some song. Some title. Um, Paradise. <laughs> okay. Second one. I know. Yeah. The song. Sorry guys, I was first. Mariah Carey. Always oh. been my baby. Alright, All right, third song. Third song. Oh. 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 
Sifo. It's R. Kelly. Bump and grind. grind. Bump and grind. I was going to say something like Gene Ryan. Oh, my God. Hey, but you're close. close. You're showing your age now. Okay, let's go for the next one. I know it. No scrubs, TLC. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. Another 10,000 points. I think uh, we had the last four songs. Last one. Give me the last song. We have one more song. Last one. I'm already grinding, but I don't know what I'm grinding. I got a real good thing that's waiting for me. Usher! 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 I think she got with a hundred thousand points. Yeah, <laughs> takes, uh, takes the cake. After this, we've got another guest. Jam Pack Show today. Stay tuned. B -b -b Breakfast Wave. Wave. Weekdays, 7 to 10 a.m. Touch HD.